Good day, everyone. I am Nathalie Joy Tamon, and together with me are my groupmates, Christian Gabriel Season, Maria Therese Tongson, G. Will Torres, and Joshua Villa Carlos. Presenting to you our research study entitled Study Habits of Nursing Students with Online Platform in Flexible Learning. Following the global COVID 19 pandemic in 2020, many colleges worldwide had to quickly shift from traditional campus based education to distance learning using digital resources. The COVID-19 pandemic has created a significant impact on education, resulting in students adjusting their study habits. This has restricted nursing students' knowledge regarding laboratory, clinical, and community exposures. As a result of the factors that make flexible learning challenging, this study aimed to help nursing students formulate effective study habits that will benefit the new educational setting. This descriptive quantitative study utilized certified random sampling of 249 nursing students which aim to determine their study habits with an online platform in flexible learning in a university through a modified standardized questionnaire. For the methodology, research design, descriptive quantitative research was utilized. It explores the characteristics of a population and identify the problems within a unit, an organization, or a population. Study sample using the raw soft software to determine the target from the 801 nursing students in levels 1 to 3 it is determined that the target population is 260 with a 4.23% attrition rate. Instruments, we use a modified standardized questionnaire from a research study of Humber in 2005 and use Good and Skate's validation rating scale for questionnaire validity. Now let's proceed to the results and discussion. For Table 1, we have the demographic profile. For sex, the female population was predominant with a percentage of 74.3. For age, results showed that the majority of the undergraduates aged 19 to 21 years old. And for year level, nursing students from level 2 had the highest percentage of the population. Lastly, for location, majority of the students live in an urban community. For Table 2, you have the most commonly used study habits. We have the average percentage of always and very often of each of the study habits. For time management, it has a 47.6%, concentration 63.25%, and note-taking, which is the second most commonly used study habit, with a percentage of 73.7%, reading comprehension, which is the most commonly used study habit, with a percentage of 745 Test preparation and test taking has a percentage of 57.45, reading speed with 73.7%, writing skills with 53.8%, and test anxiety management which is the lowest in the most commonly used study habits with 41.8%. Now for Table 3, we have the significant relationship of study habits. In terms of age, Reading speed has a CV of 0.23 and writing skills with a CV of 0.233, both having a weak correlation. In terms of sex, test anxiety management has a CV of 0.202, also having a weak correlation. In terms of year level, time management has a CV of 0.175 and concentration with a CV of 0.178, both having a weak correlation. Finally, in terms of location, there is no significant relationship because all of the p-values of the study habits are greater than 0.05. As for the conclusion, study finding reveals that nurses develop different study habits. Nursing students must be advised on how to deal with difficult circumstances. This study can provide guidance in nursing education by assisting nursing students explore and implement empirically validated strategies to improve and develop better study habits to foster utmost learning in both the theory and clinical environment. And lastly, we recommend that further studies should be conducted to identify specific study habits appropriate for each student, thus covering the difficulties of an issue in qualitative research to explore students' experiences. 